how am I to be clouded by the cares of everyday life? Oh, hallelujah to God. But to allow God to renew our minds every single day. Oh, praise be to God. People wonder why it is that there's so much gluck and gook and stuff that constantly cloud their minds. It is because they have not allowed God to renovate it. But praise be to God, over a period of time, every structure begins to deteriorate. Over a period of time, every home begins to suffer. Hallelujah to God from structural damage. Or oh, structures, bless God, it begins to suffer because of the, 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 the weather and uh, going from the cold to the hot. And after a while, you're going to find some rot taking place. Something will have to be changed. Something will have to be renovated. And so it is with every child of God. We have to be renovated because if we don't, the enemy will defeat us every single time. Oh, somebody say hallelujah in here. And so bless God, we understand, hallelujah, that we have to keep this mind renewed so that our perception will be that of God. You wonder why we have no peace of mind. It is because our minds is in the wrong place. We're thinking about the wrong things rather than keeping our minds on him. I heard the Bible says, I will keep them in perfect peace whose minds is stayed on me. Oh, praise the Lord, since that's where our perception is and, and that's where our senses and our memory and imagination is. Oh, praise be to God, when things get going in a way that you can't control it. Oh, praise be the Lord, you've got to just begin to think about how good God has been. You might be going through some hardship right now and it seems like there's no way out or how you're going to get through it. Well, what you need to do is what God told Moses when he faced the Red Sea. He said, you just stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. You see, instead of going out of your mind and going crazy over things that you can't do nothing about, just stand still and begin to look back into your memory. Oh, praise be to the Lamb of God. Begin to look back and remember how God brought you through in the past. Remember the battles that you went through and who it was that brought you through. Stop and begin to think of something that happened five years ago or ten years ago when you faced that impossible situation and you did not know what to do but you fell on your knees somebody said in the road of the song just a little talk with Jesus tell him all about my troubles he will hear my faintest cry and he'll answer by and by Oh, glory be to God. Just stop and begin to think of how he brought you out in the past. Hallelujah. And the same God that brought you through last year. The same God that brought you through six months ago. The same God that brought you five years ago. He is still God. He hath not changed. He is still God. He is the great Elohim. He is the great El Shaddai. He is the great Adonai. Somebody shout glory. Somebody shout. Just a few more minutes here. And I got to wrap this up. You don't have to look very far. You don't have to look at my life. Just go back into your own life. Oh, somebody help me. I remember how God brought me through. I remember how he brought me out. I remember my sleepless nights. I remember not having a car. I remember no money in my pocket. But look at what the Lord has done. Look at what the Lord has done. The Bible.
Bible says he purifies the meek with salvation. I remember when I had ugly thoughts in my mind. But thanks be to God who giveth us the victory. Yeah! Yeah! Thanks be to God who give us the victory. I don't know about you tonight, but he renews my mind every single day. All I gotta do is talk to him in prayer. He washed me in his blood. I heard the songwriter say, what can wash away my sins? Nothing. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can make me whole again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. And then the refrain says, oh, precious. Oh, precious is that flow that makes me white as snow. No other found I know. Nothing but. Listen, the songwriter said, I know it was the blood. I know it was the blood. I know it was the blood for me. One day when I was lost, Jesus died upon the cross. I know, I know, I know, I know. I don't have to guess about it. I don't have to doubt it. I know, yeah, oh yeah, the blood came streaming down for me, he suffered, bled and died for me, another songwriter picked it up and said, years I spent in vanity and pride, caring not, my Lord was crucified, Knowing not it was for me he died at Oh yeah Oh yeah And so he continues to renew me because he washes me every single day Have you been to Jesus for the cleansing flood? Are you washed? In the blood of the Lamb. I don't know about you, but he washed me from the crown of my head to the soles of my feet. I'm washed. I'm washed. I'm washed in the blood. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not what I used to be. He renewed me. All the old stuff, he took it out. All the rotten stuff, he took it out. He put in some new stuff. I got a brand new mind, a brand new attitude. I got a brand new walk. I got a brand new talk. He renewed me. Somebody shout glory. That's why when I come to church, I can't sit still. That's the reason why it makes me want to run the out. That's the reason why it makes me want to jump. It makes me want to shout. And I found a scripture in the Bible that says, if you don't have any joy, don't just sit there. But the Bible says, just begin to leap. If you don't have any joy, the Bible says leap for joy. We've been made to it for the night. But joy, joy comes in the morning. <laughs> 